Hello. 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 Oh, beautiful people. <laughs> Today we are starting a new journey. We are inside the path, complete beginner. This is the first lesson. We are into the tutorial. Let me see. Task number one, Stunt starting your first machine. Oh, this is just a... Um, we see that we have a flag. So that being said, we have to follow the steps. So guys, these are for just for the fun of it. Starting your first machine. Task one. This is the way you start a, a trihack machine. I think a free account has also this feature, but it's for a limited time. I think one hour or something. On Try Hack Me, you learn by starting and hacking machines. So basically, Try Hack Me offers you sandboxes to go and do hacking to develop your skills. Let's start your attack box, a web-based machine used to attack other machines. You start on tasks, start machines and learn. Oh my God. Start machines and learn what makes them vulnerable. So we have three steps. We have to start the machine. We have to connect to it and then we can attack. Access deployed machines by the attack box or open VPN. Open VPN is free for anyone. Attack box is machined offered by Try Hack Me. Uh, you have to pay for it in order to use it only to have unlimited usages. But I think you are a free user. You have a free account. You can use it for one hour a day, something like that. Other benefits that are brought with a paid subscription on Try Hack Me are some pets are subscription subscription based and attack is the third step put your knowledge into use by hacking real world machines let's start the attack box click the blue all right we clicked that at the top of the room start the target machine show on this task and wait one minute for it to configure so basically you see that we started two machines we have the target machine, which is the vulnerable machine, and the attack box, which is Try Hack Me's uh, virtual machine. Copy the IP address of the machine that you just started on the IP, on the task, then on the attack box, open the Firefox. All right, so we have port 80 opened. The machines, you start on tasks, left-hand side are the target machines. Yeah, okay, we saw that. Advanced. Alternatively, you can access it or via... VPN. You know what? This is the perfect moment to show you how to connect via VPN if you have a free account. I just started my virtual machine, my Linux uh, operating system machine. This is our uh, attack box. This is our virtual machine from TryHackMe. The steps to start it are followed here and um, everything that I previously said applies here to the attack box. This is the free machine. You can use it unlimited with the subscription. But let's terminate this and let me show you how to connect if you have a free account via the VPN. So the first thing that we have to do, we have to go access machines and then open VPN. Here we have three operating systems, Mac, Linux and Mac OS. And here you have all the four instructions that you need. That's it, four instructions. Now, if you follow these instructions like I did and you still get errors, you have the following, the, the below information. Here we have also information that we can try from Try Hack Me um, in order to fix the problem. Right, let me show you what I've encounter, encountered. We are inside our downloads folder. Here I downloaded the VPN file that is in step number one. You just hit download and boom, there you go. In the directory, we have the OpenVPN file. Now, let's open it with Vim. Let me say CyberTod and let's enter the password. Boom. Under here, data ciphers, you see that you have the following line. One issue is this can be fixed or some of you will fix this. In the past, I fixed this with the following. I just deleted this part. Data ciphers, uh, just data, sorry, just data. Now I just uh, save the files and ran the command sudo open VPN and then name of the file and it worked. But today it did not work. Today I just had to recover 
a file in order to make it work. Now, if I run it, it will complete. Data initiation, sequence complete. If we go over here and we ping, we ping the machine, we see packages are sent and received, right? So now basically we have a connection. We have a connection with the, with the machine that we wanted, as you can see. Now, another way to fix your VPN issue, maybe I'm not explaining this really well, but I will do my best and I will explain it in the future also. Um, okay, another way to fix the VPN issues are from access machine, uh, you will be prompted with this one. You will go open VPN and here you can check what kind of issue do you have. If you have access to whatever IP you're connected, downloading and getting 404, getting invalid insert error, which I did. If you're using a virtual machine, you will need, right? So just uh, recommendations from try, try hack me. Now, if we go for what I've, what I've did, certification error, we are prompted with this page. What you can do, you just select the region that you have. For instance, I was in EU regular three and I just switched to EU regular two, regenerate, wait to regenerate. And then after one minute or so, just download the file again. And guess what? We have sequence completed. And what's also crazy is, check this out. If we list again inside our our downloads uh, directory and we go sudo vim cybertod and we check the the redownloaded file you can see that this line is exactly the same with what I had on the file that did not work so this is something that you could try. Just change the region, regenerate and download the file and then use the sudo openvpn and the name of your file again. Maybe that will fix it. If not, um, you can also check Google. And if that doesn't work, then just pay the subscription and use the tag box. <laughs> right. And let's finish our, our little machine. Now that we have connected with my... Uh, Virtual box. I will just use Firefox. Let's jump to this IP. You can access Try Hack Me machines. Here we have the flag. As you can see, 10.10.44.8.180. This sandbox machine has um, port 80 open. This is why we can access it via um, the browser. Now let's go over here. Boom. Paste the flag. Submit. Amazing. 